You say you want to learn how to make a cake, no? Yeah man, that's why I click on the thumbnail. You got people, my viewers, I'm viewers and subscribers. You know the thing work. It is eggless and it's vegan. You see what I say? So, stay tuned for the intro man. Move forward, I'll show you how to Jamaican, eggless, vegan, black fruit, rum cake. You know the thing work. We know about sardines, mackerel, bully beef, chicken foot, chicken neck, chicken back. Nothing a waste, nothing a dash way. Wah guan, wah guan, what's great? Chef here, John Morris again, man. Presenting to you, you saw the title. How to make the Jamaican eggless, vegan, fruit, rum. We call it Christmas black cake. We have a lot of different names for it. I want to hear all of those different names. We're all talking about that same nice chocolate, good looking cake that we all love to eat. Christmas are forward. You want to feed rum cake but you can't eat egg or you are vegan. Don't worry yourself. I got you. You need to have your fruits, your blended fruits. But the thing about blended fruits is this fruit will normally be soaking from December 2018 to be used up in December 2019. So we normally soak this fruit for a year. But today, I'm going to be showing you a different way how you can get your fruit done last minute. You know what I say? I got the last minute. People, you need raisins and you need mixed fruits. You can find this in your local Walmart, bulk barn, or even your local Caribbean store. This amount that we have here will give us enough to be two 8-inch cakes, right? So the first thing we're going to add is our Ray and Nephew rum. And this rum is a whopping 63%. You know that's very strong, right? We're going to go in with 3 ounces of that rum. Right in. 3 ounces, right? And don't worry why it looks like that because I'm going to drink some. We have the famous Red Label wine. You can find this in your LCBO or recently added in your Walmart or your local Caribbean grocery store, right? And we're going to go in with four ounces of that red label wine because this is not as strong as the rum we're looking at a 13.7 percent right there the rum it's very strong i'm going with four ounces right there then last but not least i have some fruit wine and i'm going to go in with also with four ounces and this fruit wine is only six percent of alcohol which is not very strong we normally use this for fruit cakes 10 to 12 ounces of alcohol for this amount of fruits and raisins. However, you do not have to stick to the traditional white rum, um, red label wine and fruit wine. If you have a specific wine like a brandy or some people like their Hennessy, you can add that in there. In the fruits, I just stick to my cherries and my mixed fruits as well as my raisins. You can add prunes, you can add stuff like that to just give it a more compact cranberries and give it a more compact taste. But I'm going to keep it as simple as possible. Just a touch of salt in here, about a quarter teaspoon. And basically what that will do is to just bring out the extra sweetness in our fruits and we're just going to burn off the excess alcohol and allow that alcohol to infuse into the fruits for about 15 to 20 minutes. Cover that. I'm going to cook these fruits for about 15 to 20 minutes on medium. Our fruit is on cooking, right? And my oven is preheated at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Next thing you want to do, we're going to just line our, our baking trays real quick. And this is how you get that done. So I'm just going to get some butter here, about a teaspoon. Just rub that in. Bottom of the pan and on the sides. So, get some parchment paper and just measure that over the cake tin. Alright, we just have that on the cake tin. Just gonna mark that out with my scissors. Some people would use a pencil or a pen, not, it's not necessary sometimes. I'll just do that. Then we're going to cut. So we'll get another piece this thick, fold that in half, crease it. Just going to trim that. We're going 
going to cut that in half. Then we're just going to give it a few slices at the end, about three inches in or two. The end that has the slices, you're going to put that down, the bottom of your pan like this. Get that all the way around. Some of this extra butter. Put it on the side here and on the side here. Make sure this out. And just bring that around. So you want to keep everything um, glued onto the sides of your pan. Just so your cake come out nice and smooth. You don't want to have a wrinkly cake, right? So you get that nice and flattened. Next up, you get that round one, put it right in. And there you have a perfectly lined pan. So for the dry ingredients, first thing you want to have is some all-purpose flour. So I'm gonna add to my flour, nutmeg, cinnamon, and allspice, right? Right in. I'm gonna add baking powder. And last but not least, salt. Mix that in thoroughly. Just to distribute the salt, the spices, and everything all over. We don't want some places to have and some not to have. So right now you see I have here my sugar. And you need to use brown sugar, you know, no granulated sugar. And over here, as I said, this is vegan friendly. So we're going to be using some vegan butter. So look at that. That's what you want. Easy, workable butter. So you leave your butter out the fridge, just so you can have that nice, soft texture to work with. The last video was posted two years ago. Such a major change, body-wise, mentally, everything. However, I have still been making fruit cakes every year after that. So that's why I have this recipe geared up for you guys, right? And I went back to Jamaica last December to visit my mom. Trust me, you need to check out that vlog as well over on GAMP TV. But I went back to Jamaica after five years. That was a very hilarious, dangerous, bag of something. Just wanna go watch him, I gotta fit up or something, right? When I went back to Jamaica, of course, mommy did not have a mixer in her house. I mean, I said, Jano, how am I going to make this Christmas cake for them? Because they need to cream the butter and the sugar. Yes, I know you can do it with a wooden spoon and a metal bowl, but trust me, the strength was not there that day. So same time, I'm going to a a blender. And this is a, a way how you can get everything done if you don't have a mixer at home. And we're going to use that to cream our butter and sugar. So far, I'm going to show you what I want. So the first thing you want to put in, because my, because my blender goes upside down, you want to go in firstly with the sugar. So I'm going to be using my little blender here, it's very small, don't want to overdo this. So I'm going to go in now with half. If you have a big food processor then sure, go ahead and put everything all at once. Add that butter in. So now, you want to have the butter closer to the blade than the sugar because you need some liquid to work with right and we're just gonna blend this until everything is incorporated and smooth now I'm gonna add the rest of my sugar once we blend out that first one right and then the remainder of that butter so you're wondering now, how am I going to get that to rise and replace that egg? And to replace that egg, we have here some flaxseed, right? And we're going to be adding that to water to get that consistency of egg. So we're going in a bigger bowl. I'm going to gradually add my water in while stirring. I need to use the ground flaxseed for this to work, right? Mix that in. You can see that thickness in there, so that will replace our egg. So this is the texture of my sugar, pretty much not fully grinded out, right? Looks grainy, no worries. I'm gonna add now 
that mixture in a little at a time just as you do with the egg right so like that and this is going to bring together now that sugar and butter so we pulse for a little while then we'll add more this method can be done in your mixer at home just like you would regularly cream butter and sugar and then gradually add your eggs but if you don't own a, a mixer in your household you don't have to worry you can use your blender or old fashioned you can use just a wooden spoon to mix cream that butter and sugar in but you're in for a nice arm workout right back on cream again So as you can see it's coming together nicely no more sugar particles I'm gonna add that now to a bowl uh, my sugar has been creamed out all right I'm gonna put the rest in just because my thing was overflowing not big enough get my wooden spoon mix that in and that's it beautifully creamed sugar and butter all right that's a shortcut method. I'm gonna to add to that now my browning and this is what going to give us that Jamaican black cake vibe. You see me? So I try to go in with five tablespoons first. This recipe calls for six. Try to go in with five first and then judge the color from there. And then when we add the flour and everything, we will determine if we need more browning. The thing with browning, you do not want to put too much because that will result in a very bitter tasting cake, right? So come over here now and we'll just mix that in. And see you get in that black cake vibe, cream sugar and butter. X out the egg and use that um, flax seed and you have a perfect mixture just the same see that beautiful nice and dark dark and lovely you see me like myself nice all right so let's check on our fruits beautiful they're stewing nicely infusing all of that rum you know what i say yeah this is what it would look like if you had the fruit soaking for months you know it would have absorbed all that rum into the, 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 the fruits and stuff and leave you with that you're gonna allow this now to cool down blend it nice and smooth and then add it directly to here but because i already have some pre-made we're gonna use that instead so this is what your fruit should look like once you blend that out you see that still have a little little bit of chunk in there so now i'm gonna add my fruits I'm gonna add to that the zest of a lemon right that will give the cake a nice little taste and normally if you have egg in here it will help to deal with that rawness of the egg but it also provides flavor in the cake so we get that lemon or lime anyone you have works we have here some almond butter right this replaced the protein that you would have lost from the eggs. I'm just gonna mix that in. Beautiful. Smells good, looking good. Beautiful. I'm gonna add to that my rose water. Beautiful. And lastly, vanilla extract. at that beautiful mixture that we have gonna gradually add in about four my dry ingredients then we're gonna mix that in cut mix and cut the color is still looking good I don't think I need to add the extra browning in here just for my people in our baking things it's gonna fold that up three quarters of the way so 
So we're just gonna tap this on the countertop to remove the excess ear pockets and to have the cake nice and leveled. All right, so what I like to do, I like to have a water bath and I put that on the lower rack in the oven and then put my cakes above that. And what that does is to help to keep the case nice and moist and it prevents it from burning at the bottom, right? At all times, keep your cake on the middle rack of your stove. This one will go at the lower rack. Right to the center. Above that now, with my cakes. Check for doneness. Beautiful. I have in my spray bottle red label wine, white rum, and the fruit wine mixed. You can just go in with equal amount of each um, rum you're going to be putting in here. And of course, immediately add that rum. How much do you add? Just spray until the entire top is covered. Like that. This is what's going to give us that nice moist cake you hear my people see it there once this cool down you know we cover that and keep get mash up see it Man. see it there people see it there see it there see normally we, we, we spray this for like a week before we, we, we consume this cake because the longer so you spray it and cover it spray it once for the day and you cover this and leave it. Next day you get up, you get some more spray, you spray it again and you cover it and that rum just soaks through it. So after a week's time, trust me, you're in for a treat. But for me, I am so impatient, I can't wait. I spray this now, tomorrow I'm going to be eating this, isn't it? And as I said before, this recipe will be available over on Hot Chef, Hot underscore Chef Instagram. So check me out there for this recipe. And if you don't see it here in a few months time, it's up on our website and all the links will be placed on my Instagram. Day 2 See there, rum cake, vegan friendly. If you feel say eggless vegan, Jamaican, rum cake, black cake, fruit cake, any cake you call it, we're all talking about the same cake. If you enjoyed this video, please give this a thumbs up to recommend it to the persons out there who are looking to find the perfect recipe. Tell them this is a one-stop shop for Jamaican eggless vegan black rum fruit cake. If you know me, I say Christmas, I come and have a Christmas playlist out where you can find this and a lot more Christmas items such as your roast beef, your sarrel, you know me, I say? And if you like my vibe, don't forget to hit subscribe, you know me? That's cute. Oh she girl, likes it. She, she thinks you're funny. No, I'm not funny. Why are you funny? My, my girl. That'd be nice. My girl. So, yeah. Yo, so, if you like the vibe, please consider to subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Merry Christmas when it comes because we're filming in November for you just so you can get this in December. So, Merry Christmas when it comes. A happy and prosperous new year for you and yours. Until next time, see if trouble for the gravel. I'm going to big up for yourself. Let me see you another dinner for later. I know you're fast, girl, you never tell me. Because I'm in any, any month can feed you. So that's why you always take me to the kitchen. Yeah, yeah.